What's up, everybody? Just um, working from home today, so I just dropped the kids off, heading back home. Um, but man, a little bit of a rough morning, let me tell you. Both kids decided to have uh, a little bit of a temper tantrum. Amelia's was much worse. <laughs> Jackson was just crying because he didn't want to go to school. And he wouldn't tell us why. We said if there's something going on or, you know, you can always talk to us. Please let us know, Jackson. You know, we can talk to the teacher. You know, what's going on? If, if, you, if you tell us why you don't want to go to school today and there's a real reason, then you can stay home. We told him that. But he kept... He was referencing like old incidents that had happened and dealt with like months ago. Like one time a kid at his school threw, there's like, you know, there's always that one kid and this kid needs a little bit extra help and he's a little bit rambunctious and he, he threw a helmet off the wall and it ended up hitting Jackson in the head. And so, you know, which obviously isn't okay. Um, but I think, you know, I think it was an accident and anyways, um, and before that, the kid kind of, you know, they were roughhousing outside and, and they were playing tag and I think he pushed Jackson over, you know, both times the school let us know, you know, and they're not hiding anything and they, and they talked to this kid that, they, they, you know, they said, you know, we're working with Michael and, and I've been in the classroom and I know who Michael is and, um, and, you know, I had no, no ill will towards him. I think he just, you know, some kids just have a little bit harder time. I had a hard time, um, sitting still and, and always listening, so... Um, you know, I definitely feel for it, but obviously at the same time, I don't want, um, oh, what are they doing here? Go around. Okay. Um, you know, I don't want my son to be the victim of bullying, which I don't think is the case here, but, but even if it's not bullying, just, you know, negligent, whatever, you know, I don't want my kid to not want to go to school or be sad because another kid, um, is, you know, messing around too much either. So, um. So, you know, but I think for the most part, it, it, you know, it's been dealt with and it's okay. But anyways, he kept referencing these old times. Like, well, Michael hit me in the head with the helmet. We we're like, Jackson, that was months ago, bud. What, what's going on? Um, anyway, so, um, and then Amelia had a, a tantrum because she wanted, uh, you know, I dropped my wife off at work. She wanted a kiss, but she said it too late. My wife already left out of the car and then she, she, my wife tied her hair like Elsa today and then she took it out and then she kept yelling about how she wants her hair back to look like Elsa and so the silver lining was that I think Amelia's tantrum um, made Jackson want to go to school <laughs> anyways both kids had a rough morning which is fine you know everyone has a rough morning I have rough mornings where I don't want to go to work or I don't you know go to school or whatever um, so, you know, I sympathize, but, it, but you know, you sometimes just have to go even when you don't want to either. So, um, just kind of, just kind of, you know, trying to see what the lesson learned here is. Um, you know, we're all, we're all, uh, going through stuff together and it's being a dad and learning as you go and she was screaming like loud Jackson was covering his ears I told her she said dad talk to me dad talk to me I said I'll talk to you I'm right here you know she wanted me to hold her and I'm like I'm driving I can't hold you but I was like I'm here I can talk to you but I am not going to talk to you until you stop crying and it took her a while but she finally calmed down that's the other thing too, is that, you know, we get a little worked up in the moment and sometimes we need to get some fresh air, catch a breath, take a break, take a pause. And then, um, you know, you, you start to see that uh, everything's okay. And that uh, the little things we worry about, um, sometimes, you know, we make a bigger deal than they actually are. And, you know, I think that applies to kids and adults. So a little bit of self-reflection anyways. Um, back home now and start working so we'll talk later uh, I mentioned last night about like what motivates you um, so I'll probably talk about that later but I uh, just wanted to expand you know it's not 
you know, it's not always just about what pushes you through workouts. I, and I forget if I mentioned this last night, but also, you know, what pushes you through just um, any hard times, anything that's tough in life, you know, what do you, what motivates you to, to keep pushing through workouts, push through, you know, if work's hard, if, you know, you don't want to do chores, you don't want to clean up, you know, kind of just what pushes you to kind of just keep going and, and live in your best life, I guess. So anyways, this, this already is a lot longer than I thought it would be, but just a rough morning. Kids just were on one, which is, again, it's fine. We got through it, but it was rough. So anyways, we'll talk later. Peace. Well, 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 we meet again, huh? What's up, everybody? Um, well, it's been a while since I talked to you this morning. The day has gotten much better since then. The kids, I picked them up. They're both in a better mood. Maybe they were just hungry or slept on or what do they call it, got out of the wrong side of the bed. Anyways, things are good. So I just dropped them off at my sister-in-law's and I'm gonna go pick up my wife. Um, drove her in again today and um, we are going to hit the mall and do a little shopping. So, um, you know, pick out some stuff for the kids, for some other people, you know. I've been doing some online shopping, of course, and I've knocked out I'd say a good third to a half of the gifts we got to get already, so that's good progress. Um, and now we're gonna try and make, uh, you know, make another dent and try and do some more shopping here uh, at the actual mall. So, um, should be fun. You know, it's always kind of fun just to, you know, when you know when you have kids, right? <laughs> And then you get a just like even the mundane stuff but you know you have someone you know nice enough to watch your kids and you know you get to go shopping at the mall with your wife you know that those are the kind of things that you used to do that maybe you took uh, for granted and now you know because then trying to coordinate that with kids nighttime they're hungry they're not listening at the mall you know whatever so just the fact that I can kind of do a little Christmas shopping here at the mall with just my wife and I and, and we don't you know we can take our time don't have to worry about losing our kids in the mall. You know what I used to do as a kid <laughs> is uh, my mom would go for shopping at like Fred Meyer, right? And I would like, the clothes would be in those circle racks and I would like slide in between the clothes and hide inside the clothes racks and thought I was super funny. And my mom's, you know, like, all right, you know, you do that enough and she thinks I'm missing or something. It's like, haha, okay, Brian, now stop it. So anyways, just not having to worry about the kids while we, while we focus on kind of just hanging out and shopping maybe grab a quick bite to eat so I'm excited um, kind of it's kind of takes a, a little bit of break from our normal routine too so that's always fun to kind of not do the same thing every weeknight um, but anyways um, this might be it for the night just gonna go shopping if not I might check in once we're at the mall if I see some cool stuff maybe I'll catalog some items that we're looking at for people and um, but anyways, we'll talk later, guys. Either tomorrow or later tonight. It's a mystery. You'll know pretty soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I also didn't want to forget um, about the question I asked earlier about what motivates me and why that's important. So I just wanted to highlight that real quick. Um, you know, I think an easy answer is like, you know, you know, why do I work hard money? Why do I uh, work out uh, so people, you know, don't judge me or whatever right um so i think those are maybe lazy answers or um you know superfluous or whatever i said yesterday but you know I, what i try to think my motivation is um is like i try to um be kind of a better person than myself i try not to and i and i and i, I do this better in theory than in practice but i try to not compare myself to others I try to focus on myself and what I'm doing in my life to be a better husband, to be a better dad, to be a better person um, in terms of, you know, my emotional well-being, my mental well-being, my physical well-being, and financial well-being. So, um, so you know, I, uh, I, like my fitness journey, you know, getting older. I used to be play soccer, you know, didn't have to worry too much about it. Was always in pretty good shape, always pretty physically active. 
Um, and then you get married, that slows you down a little bit. Not, I mean, not just the fact that you're married, but you buy a house, you start working, you get into a routine. Um, and then, you know, then kids, of course, you gotta, you're driving around a lot and life's hectic. So you're eating out more and maybe instead of eating at home. Anyways, all that to say that um, I, you know, back in like 2017, I think it was, I got, I, I was pretty big. I think I was my biggest, like 225 maybe. And then I would, did go on, I, I looked at, you know, I found out about keto and, and, and that was a diet that worked for me at the time. I did it for two years straight and I think I got all the way down to 185 if I remember. And now I'm hovering right about 210. So I'm, you know, obviously lost some of that back. And earlier this year in the vlog, I tried every Sunday to do, you know, weekly updates and try really hard. Those kind of um, got uh, pushed back and neglected and I did put some weight back on, but um, I guess I would just say that, you know, it's it's easy to get into a routine or, you know, like eat a Oreo here or a Halloween snack there and try to dismiss it as, oh, it's nothing, it's just one. But then you get into a habit of that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I guess I would say my motivation would be to kind of just work hard every day to just be a better version of myself. You know, you don't want to, I try not to compare myself to others because everyone's in their own situation. Um, I try to just compare myself to my former self. What did I do yesterday? What did I do last week? Am I, am I working towards goals? You know, that's, I mean, in the beginning I talked about checklists and goals and, and why it's important to have steps, you know, not just, not just writing on, writing down your goals, but writing down a sub, sub list of, you know, major and minor bullet points on, on ways to work towards those goals every day, you know, every day work towards your goals. What are your goals? Um, I think if people sit down and have an honest conversation with themselves about what their goals are, what they want to do and, and how to get them, um, I think it can be eye opening for people. So, um, like, again, I'm not trying to be preachy. This is what I try to, I try to hold myself accountable. So really I'm just kind of talking out loud my thoughts and on to myself. And lately I haven't been doing a good job almost all summer. I kind of, you know, I was probably drinking too much beer and, and barbecues and eat outs and, you know, and maybe some of that was because we were locked down, you know, the whole 2020. So 2021 summer came around and, you know, maybe there was some of that FOMO and I wanted to be out and about more. So, you know, it is what it is and no one's perfect. Um, so my motivation when I'm working out and I want to push through it is to, you know, have a photo. My wife likes to bring it up every once in a while of me in Hawaii um, at one of my friend's weddings and that was like when I was in you know down at that 185 pound range and I look at that and I say dang I, you know I was kind of cut and I was working out and I looked pretty good in, in my own eyes so um, I use that as motivation to say you know if I can do it once I can do it again and I don't want to you know I don't want to I want to keep working towards that um, you know fi financial motivation of course you know everyone everyone wants money and more money to do things they you know but it's not just about money right money money in and of itself isn't anything it's it's what you can do with the money go on trips you know um eventually we want to go to you know to like a uh, southeast asia trip to a Euro european trip whatever um and so obviously those things cost money especially with a family four tickets to europe four tickets to asia um isn't cheap so Anyways, um, so, you know, obviously I, I also need to work on not uh, elaborating too much and, and talking too much because I do that um, as case in point, you know, this segment right here about my motivation. But um, I, you know, I try to just improve. I look at I look at what I did yesterday, last week, last month, and I and I and I say, OK, am I? Am I hitting my financial goals? Am I being disciplined? Am I working out a majority of the time? And when I am working out, am I, you know, am I just going through the motions or am I, you know, trying to push myself a little bit? Um, stuff like that. So anyways, um, I think it's all about just, um, you know, like I said, working, working towards your goals every day, working a little bit and, um, and then you'll start to, you know, you'll start to see the fruits of your labor. I think, um, I don't know. I don't want to get into it too much, but I think, um, because of technology, 
and because of how fast everything is in the digital world and fast food and and payments now and two-day shipping and blah 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 and instant um, you know binge watching shows they release a whole season um, we lose a little you know the the delayed uh, gratification is like non-existent you know people people would people want the the people want the satisfaction now what can I do now to, to get ahead or to do this do that instead of you know looking out five years three years one year and then working towards that as as a goal or whatever so and it's tough like I said I'm I'm part of that group as well and I'm working and I'm working on that anyways it's, it's been seven minutes this whole video is probably gonna end up being like 10 12 minutes but that's okay if you watch to the end you're a real one I'm gonna watch it later and uh, no, we'll talk later guys all right peace